Hey, we have some very good friends that have a close family member that just committed suicide and we need to be praying for them. I'm going to be vague because they asked me to, but we need to be praying for their friends and family. Obviously, God knows who they are and the peace that needs to be on that family. And Suicide is such a major, devastating thing that goes on in families. And we all know about the celebrity that just committed suicide and it's been on the news and people talked about it and talked about how there's somebody that, you know, there was no cries for help. It, was, it wasn't something that was obvious. And sometimes, man, we don't know what's going on in somebody's life. We don't know. Everything can look like everything's great, like this young man of our good friends that, that hung himself. And that's somebody's life that was cut short. It was They hung themselves, they committed suicide, and it was based on lies. They were deceived by lies. And the Bible talks about the thief is here to kill, steal, and destroy. That's the plans of the enemy for your life, for my life is to kill, steal, and destroy. And it's a matter if we choose to believe the lies or not. And there are people around us that we may not realize it because they, not, they may not be crying out for help. It may not be obvious. They may look, everything's good in their life. But we need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, to be able to speak life into them, to be able to speak what the Holy Spirit is speaking to us, to be able to speak the Word of God. Because the Bible talks about how we have the power of life and death are in our tongue. So we need to be very active in sharing our faith with them, sharing the truth with them, speaking life into them, because we have no idea what might be going on in someone's life. So I want you guys to be praying, what can I do for the people around me? How can I encourage them? The Bible talks about in Ephesians 4.29 to do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up, that it may benefit those who listen. So are your words encouraging? Because we all know, man, we are being bombarded with so many things, so many negative things that, that put us down. Man, if you're online long enough, you're on social media, you know there's enough haters out there. There's enough of those trolls that are out there that, that want to bash you and beat you down and, and want to say negative things about you. So it's important. That's why we created our shirt that my identity is in Jesus because it truly is about our identity is in Jesus. Because if you don't have your identity in Jesus, then you start looking to other things or other people to try to find your identity. And it's like one of the most popular things so many people do is, is they're posting selfies. And a lot of times you'll see you know, we'll put, oh, man, I look ugly in this picture or whatever. And I want to ask those people, man, are you, you got a fishing license for that? Because it's almost like you're, we're fishing for compliments. You know, we want, we're hoping someone's going to say, oh, no, you don't look ugly. You look great. No, you're good looking. You're beautiful. And, and we, we're looking for compliments. We're looking for people to build us up. But I'm telling you guys, we can be at a place where we don't have to have people that do that. Because you know what? Because a lot of times we have those compliments that come in or whatever. And what, it's just a matter of a few days or a week later, whatever, you're, you're, you're craving that again because you're needing people to build you up. And we all love, love, we all love encouragement and, and we want to be accepted, we want approval, we want people to speak nice things and compliments about us. There's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of times, guys, these are legitimate needs that we have, that God-given needs, but we try to look for them in illegitimate ways. And that's why so many of us are struggling with different things and struggling with loneliness or depression or suicidal thoughts because we're looking for love in the wrong places. We're looking for acceptance from, from things that aren't gonna fill that void. And obviously God is the one that fills those voids in our life. And I wanna encourage you guys, man, wherever you're at in your spiritual walk to remember that your heavenly father is the one that loves you. And that is the one that matters most. When you have his love, that builds a foundation, that builds a security in your life because your foundation, because the Bible talks about being rooted and grounded in love. And that's crucial that we're rooted and grounded in God's love because I'm telling you guys, so many things are gonna to try to pull us down. So many things are gonna speak evil against us. We got our brothers and sisters in Christ that are in different countries that are being persecuted for their faith and they're being beat down, literally beat down for what they believe. But they have a relationship with God and that is what makes them strong. And they have a foundation that can that withstand those, those trials and tribulations. And that, that's what we need to have, guys. We need to have the peace of God that passes all understanding in the midst of our, our struggles, in the midst of our difficult times. So I wanna encourage you guys, man, be sensitive to the people that are around you. Again, people that may not even be crying for help or saying this or saying that, but I'm telling you, there are people that are hurting. So we just need to make a habit of, God, who do I need to speak to? Who do I need to encourage? Who do I need to, to send this message to? Who do I need to give this Bible verse to? And let's be active in sharing our faith. Let's be active in listening to God and let's be active in reaching out with the power of the Holy Spirit to share His truth and love for those around us. So I hope that encourages you guys. Remember to be praying for those and speaking life to those around you.